Shalom people of God, this is El Betel and we had a wonderful moment in the presence of God. So we have few people that are, are, are willing to testify and we are going to call them. My sister, can you please come? How are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine too, thank you. Uh, I believe, what is your name first? My name is Atanyara Abigail. Okay, great. You are from this church, right? Yes. And uh, we, we, we believe that you have a testimony to share with us. Yes. So uh, what is, can you share your experience, what you had, your, the experience you had in, in the presence of God? Uh, it was last week I was having pain in my right ear. Okay. Uh, I couldn't come to church on Saturday, so Sunday I managed to come to church. And it was during the moments of worship I received my healing. The pain okay. in my ear vanished. Okay. I couldn't bend my ear like this with without the pain and deep inside to I like when there is severe noise it becomes boom 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 mm -hmm. but during the moments of worship with all the noise and everything yeah. I didn't hear the pain the pain vanished from my ear wow. so after church service I went to pastor to tell him my testimony yeah uh, wow glory to God so now there is no pain no pain oh Since glory to Jesus Sunday up to now no pain in my ear again. oh glory to Jesus this can only be God and this is Helbetel so we have also one uh, one uh, another person that is who is willing to share with us our uh, experience we're going to call her so my sister Santish please hi sister. hi how are you doing yeah I'm good thank you what about you I'm fine thank God we believe you have a testimony to share with the with the people of God right yeah, so, I have a great testimony to share with people of God about the last Sunday service okay. mm. yeah I really experienced God in another dimension I could see the heaven mm. the heaven were holy opened and angels in the church the anointing of God was on on his people mm. so I could feel the glory of God cover the church my life I can also say that last Sunday I really experienced what really we called a comfort in mm. the presence of God mm. my heart were my heart was comfort Amen. in the presence of God yeah. Amen. Wow. We thank God. This is how Lord. You want to share another testimony? Oh. Yeah. I would also encourage everybody, okay. whoever wants to have an experience like mine, mm. so come in the presence of God with an expectation. Yes. I can just say, last time I came in the presence of God with an expectation. Yeah. Before I came in the church, I said, Lord, I want to leave your presence mm. until and unless you touch me. Okay. And mm. I really experienced the touch and the move of God in my life. And I came I came in the church with a heart that was sad, mm. but I left the church with a heart, with a joyful, joyful heart. heart. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was really comfort. I was really restored in the presence of God, and Hallelujah. angels were everywhere. And I could, uh, I could also see on the altar the fire mm. of God. Wow. So it was amazing, and wow. I was on. Wow! Thank you so much, sister. Yeah, God bless you. God bless you too, sister. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Shalom. I wanted just to share with you something, uh, what happened today in the service. We were worshiping the Lord and uh, as the worship was going on, the atmosphere completely changed in this place and uh, it was very difficult even to stand. The atmosphere became very electric and uh, after the pastor laid his hand on me, uh, I stood up and came back to my feet and came back to my position. I was no more able to stand because the presence of God was so huge in this place. And God, by His grace, had opened my eyes and I could visualize angels on the stage, around the stage. It was so mighty that uh, people who were here present in the service could also uh, uh, witness the presence of God. But God opened my eyes for allowing me to see them. And what those angels was uh, communicating to me, especially in that moment, was the reverence towards God, the, the, the fear towards God. And, and the words, the presence of God became very meaningful at that particular moment. You know, sometimes we just say it, but we don't maybe mean it or we just say it because we, we want to say it. But at that moment, everything changed because I could even see them. And it was uh, something that I could qualify that it was irreal but it was real and what I want to share with all of you whenever we come to the presence of God what I benefited can be a portion also it is not something that because I'm special or anything like this but 
you can also benefit because the presence of God is available for everyone. And God, what he has done for me, can also do it for you. And I pray for, for this kind of atmosphere to never leave the church. And I pray also for the maximum of people to get the benefit of it. And this encounter was... Maybe for me today, but it can be also yours tomorrow. So come always prepare in the presence of God because you don't know what God has prepared for you. Let this testimony encourage us to worship God in spirit and truth because things happen in the presence of God and God himself demonstrates when he's here. So may God bless you and uh, I believe that God will help us and you are also going to be a part of it in the coming days. May God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to Jesus for these wonderful testimonies that we are having. And um, we believe God can touch your life, God can transform you and change your life. Please come next Sunday and worship with, uh, along with us in El Betel International Edgy Church. Shalom.